Welcome in front of me I have Xiaomi Mi Band 8 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your smart band and you can turn it on by plugging it to a charger. Once you plug it to the charger it will turn on automatically and after the smart band turns on you probably will see the list of languages on the screen. If you see it, you can scroll through it and then you can find the language you would like to use on your smart band. I only have uh, three choices, so I'm gonna select English, but if you have the global release of the device, you will have more options. Okay, and once you see the QR code on the screen, it means we need to download and install the uh, Xiaomi or Mi Fitness application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Google Play Store, tap on search and type in Mi Fitness. And tap on search. You should see this application, Mi Fitness, Xiaomi Wear, tap on install. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, tap on start check the box right here and tap on agree then select a region I need to select the uh, China region because I have the uh, band from the China uh, um, distribution uh, so uh, if I won't select Chinese uh, region it won't connect for some reason but you if you have global release you can select any region you want to use but like I said before I need to select the China one and once you select the region tap on next then tap on device, tap on add device, and then you tap on sign in, and we need to log in into Xiaomi account. If you don't have an account, you can either enter the phone number and tap next, and if there is no account associated with this number, it will let you to make a new account, or you can tap on sign in using password and tap on create account right here. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address and password, so give me a second or two. Then check the box to agree to the uh, terms of use and tap on sign in. And after you log in, you will need to tap on add device again. Oh, first, I need to set up a profile, so I'm just gonna tap on done. And then if you have the pop-up about the permission required, tap on agree, tap on allow. And as you can see, I already have the band added right here. I'm gonna just remove it like this and now once we're done with the permissions and unwanted devices you can tap on add device the app should detect your smart band tap on it to select it confirm the pairing on the smart band by tapping on the check mark then tap on done and continue And here we have a tutorial how to use the band and you can go through it by tapping on next and once you're done tap on done right here we can turn on uh, notifications so if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your smartphone on your smart band you need to allow some permissions and set it up if you don't care you can tap on dismiss and keep it disabled but i'm gonna enable uh, and enable it for the sake of the video so you can select sync all notifications or sync specific notifications if you select this option it will bring you to the mm, menu and you can select the apps you want to receive the notifications from on your smart band so select the option you like then uh, tap on um, set tap on set it will redirect you to the notification access here you need to find the mini fitness application tap on it and tap on the switch to allow the notification access and once you allow notification access you can go back to app and as I, as I said before if you select the second option you'll be able to um, pick which apps should forward the notifications to your smart band and you can find the app you want enable it right here and then tap on done once you're done selecting the apps 
next we have incoming calls and notifications so if you want to receive the notifications about incoming calls uh, you need to tap on set and allow permissions if you don't care you can tap on dismiss i'm just gonna allow the permissions like this next we have the uh, sync with dnd with phone so basically if you want to uh, sync the D do not disturb mode on your smart band with your phone so let's say you enable do not disturb mode on your phone it should enable on the uh, smart band as well if you enable this option if you don't care you can dismiss it i'm just gonna tap on set like this and after you're done with the permissions and notifications you should see your xiaomi band 8 on the list of or rather on the device page right here and also you should be able to use your band at this point which means that the devices are paired together and that's how you pair this smart band with the android phone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video